Hello, everybody. My name is Dredd. Welcome to Miss Valley Entertainment News, where we're covering, well, entertainment and news and entertainment news. Cover a lot of gaming stuff if you haven't been here before, and we also cover some other things. We cover sports, we cover television, we cover movies, whatever, but it's mainly concentrated on gaming. Today, we're going to take a look at a video and react to it by Mr. Maddie Plays. His video is called Fallout 4's Next Gen Update is a bit of a disaster, dot, dot, dot. The video will be linked down below. Let's get into my reaction to what Mr. Maddie Plays has to say. Maddie Plays is another person who tends to be a cheerleader and very, very positive, which is fine. Positivity is good, but sometimes it gets a little too sweet and sticky and sickening. But I, I still respect Mr. Maddie, so let's uh, let's see what he's got to say. Well, after a pretty long streak of positive Bethesda videos, they have shot themselves in the foot and we have to break the mold here. Fallout 4's next-gen update is an absolute disaster from top to bottom. Some of the bug and glitches videos I am seeing right now are pretty unbelievable. And I know some people will go, well, it's Bethesda, what do you expect? But when you... Let me just say, first of all, let me start this off by saying I am very new to the Fallout franchise myself. I have not watched a TV show yet. Um... I just this in within the last month uh, have installed for the first time Fallout Four, and I played it for about two hours, maybe maybe two and a half hours, whatever it's been so far. And then I decided I wanted to learn how to mod it, so I've been learning how to mod it, putting together a small mod list for Fallout Four, which I've just completed, but haven't had a chance to test yet. Maybe another week till I uh, get through my work week before I can go test it, and then I'll be putting out some content on my. Um, which channel we're putting it out? Probably on Miss Valley Mods, my Miss Valley Mods YouTube channel, all my YouTube channels, and my Discord and my Twitter. My Twitter, my Twitch are linked down below, by the way. I will be putting out videos on that. So um I'm pretty new. I'm pretty new to follow. I want to put that right out there so you know. You think about how long ago this was announced and where we are now and how it seems Bethesda was wildly unprepared, not just on the bugs and glitches front, but we're going to talk about things surrounding the next gen update and how the, by the way, for the next gen update, uh, I am on PC. First of all, second of all, uh, my fallout Four mod list is on the version before the update. And I kept it that way on purpose because I knew there were going to be issues with mods breaking. So, um, as of right now, um, my mod list for Fallout 4 is pre-update. And uh, once everything gets completely settled, if I des uh, desire to install that update and update my all the mods that I need to, I will do so. But I plan on playing pre-update version. Community is naturally circumnavigating all of that. They were not ready for this somehow. And I imagine now the wait for the Fallout 4 next gen update was not because they were cooking and then working on Starfield and then cooking some more, but because this might have been done extremely last minute if the stuff I'm going to show you today nope, doesn't make that incredibly apparent. Now, I come from this very unique angle of I play Fallout 4 pretty regularly for my content. I always end up covering Bethesda stuff, so I'm hopping into Fallout 4 every now and again, whether it's for the content or I just feel like playing it for a little bit. So it's not like I haven't played this game since 2015 or 16 like many other people out there, and they're coming back in. It's that anecdotal like, oh, shucks, man. For example, the load times, they're much longer than I remember. Well, games really have come far, have they? When I fired up the Fallout 4 Next Gen Update on PC, I had a three-plus-minute load screen. Ooh. That has never happened to me on before. On PC? I'm one of those wow. people who, I guess I'm very lucky. I see the videos online. The experiences online and how awful, on a technical level, the Bethesda games are. I personally don't encounter these absolute travesties, and I've been playing them for almost my entire life. This time with Fallout 4 and its next-gen update, as I continue to go back to it, this is one of the worst experiences I've had on a technical level with huh. a Bethesda game. Ooh, I'm not nice going to sit textures. here and tell you it's Fallout 76 Ooh. levels of bad. That was uh, really a bad time for them. But when you look at what's happening here with Fallout 4, you, especially you, for how you, long... You, did, can we go back and look at that? Can, can you see the, the, the textures? First of all, we got gl well, glitching. And then look at the texture. Those have not loaded in. <laughs> Hello, Bethesda. That has not loaded in at all. It's unacceptable. Wow. Number two, it means that they're going to have to continue to update the game. So that's why we have mods now of people rolling back the next-gen update because it broke the game. They have people who are avoiding any future updates because it's going to happen. The Fallout 4 next-gen update is borked, so Bethesda's going to have to continue to update it. And this is a problem because if you have a mod list, 
that's going to break multiple times. And we just saw Fallout 4 yeah. script extender got updated, which means it can enable a lot of other mods. It's just a chain reaction here where I do wish, and I said this before, that there was a Fallout 4 special edition, not just because they could take all of the Creation Club content and everything and put it into one, but let it be the separate SKU that continuously gets updated so people can stay with the vanilla game safely with their mods. I, I just feel like it would have made so much more sense to do that after how long we waited to make sure what you were offering for the Fallout 4 Next Gen update was more on the content side of things, but also that polish level, make it a separate SKU, and then you can tweak it because it's adding a bunch of new things. But here, it's been a disaster. I'm going to show you a lot of the bugs and glitches I've been seeing online. And talk a bit again about my experience. And just provide this overall warning that the next gen update, you should be, especially on PC, aware of. If you get a hankering for Fallout 4, uh, these are some things you actually may end up encountering. Now, the good news is I'm not seeing any reports online of, oh, it's bugged my save. It's destroyed my game. But... On a visual front, oh my goodness. All right, so <laughs> how about an exclamation point launcher? Yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? So Reddit user ChopSui0299 posted this video here from the makeshift weapons pack. Now, not all of these are tied to the new Creation Club content that's built into the game, but this just means flat out to my understanding that the item is not registering what? in game at all. And so that's why when they go into third person, eventually you're going to see that the player character is a giant triangle with an exclamation point. They're shooting out triangles with exclamation points because it's not registering in game that this is an item available wow. here. So yeah, like things such as this wow. are happening and that's kind of unfortunate for a brand new weapon pack with wow. things like a piggy bank you can shoot or a baseball launcher that you can shoot. That's the worst. Uh, perhaps what's worse though is what we see here from Reddit user Pisco Spire. Uh, this flickering is on a whole other level. I mean, we're seeing like infrared level flickering. It Whoa. is all over the place, in your face. Oh, it's not my one word. of those visual bugs that you can just kind of look at and go, all right, moving on. You may remember in my Fallout 4 Next Gen Final Verdict video, I talked about some texture flickering, some visual bugs. It was frustrating. It was there. And it's funny because at the time I was like, I don't remember really seeing these with fallout 4 but also i know i play these games a lot i just get used to it or not i don't know what the rationale was there right but then i see bugs like this that css jazz posted which is a massive amount of texture bugs to the point where you're gonna see dog meat fall through the floor meaning that it's not just texture bug flickering happening in the commonwealth where i had experienced it but also everywhere else on the map wow. again this type of stuff is just not acceptable that's kind of fallout 76 level of ad when your visuals are just sinking through the floor wow um let me speak directly to bethesda bethesda studios bethesda game studios as a whole maybe uh maybe you should just stop stop putting out updates Stop putting out DLC. Stop putting out games. Stop putting out content. How you as a studio cannot be completely and utterly embarrassed by what you put out is staggering. It's an embarrassment. You, you, just, you just need to stop. Okay, now back to you, the viewers. Bethesda seriously cannot do anything right right now. They, they seriously cannot do anything right. They cannot do anything well. They cannot do anything properly. They cannot do anything good. They are in such a terrible state as a company. Such an utterly terrible state as a company please those of you who have backed bethesda and continue to look forward to their stuff please put your consoles down put your computer keyboards down put your mobile down whatever and walk away from bethesda please we do not want this kind of stuff Flooding our marketplace here, flooding our, our, our gaming community. This is terrible. 
do not want to encourage them to keep putting this stuff out. They're only doing it for the money they're making people. Only doing it for the money. They don't care anymore. They don't have any pride. They don't have any morality. They don't feel shame. They just want the money. They don't care. And it's sad. Okay? It's sad. Just stop supporting them. Just stop. It's really disappointing, especially because I will say this is I feel like, and people may disagree, Starfield set a new bar for Bethesda in the terms of technical performance. I think the PC version with its feature launch set was unacceptable. They need to do definitely way better with that next time. Not having DLSS at launch is like a cardinal sin, in my opinion. Are you kidding me? But when you look at the game as, as a technical product, when I played it during my review and after my review, putting almost 150 hours into it, it wow. ran totally fine for me. I don't even think I had this game crash on me. Granted, I played on Series X, but I had a pretty good time with the game. And I felt like, okay, you know what? If Bethesda's tightening things up on a technical level because of all the feedback people are giving, like, that's great. So to go from what I experienced there to now sinking your quality level again, and almost in a comical way, might I add, like, Fallout's on this new high, and you're basically giving new Fallout fans that introduction of, like, welcome to the Bethesda experience that everyone hears about online. This is it right here right now it's a great game you're gonna love it but it's gonna distract you a lot visually because things are gonna happen and things are gonna break to me the toughest part to stomach here is the weight you announced this at the end of 2022 and i'm guessing work didn't start then or it was just an absolute catastrophe throughout all of 2023 because the announcement was hey this is the fallout anniversary we're actually going to be celebrating this by doing a fallout 4 next gen update more info in 2023. Cool. See you then. It was kind of exciting. Like, okay, we're going to do Starfield and Fallout 4 in the same year. That sounds great to me. Now with Starfield coming out and it seemed like it just was a plane that had to be landed. It was like, okay, I get it. Like this is your next big IP. You you wanted to focus on that. By the end of the year, we still didn't really have much of a word on the Fallout uh. 4 next gen update. And then we get into 2024. We know that it's coming sometime in the first part of the year. Now we think it's around the TV show. It comes weeks after the TV show. It allows 76 to blow up a little bit more and people give it a second chance, which I was happy to see that people really came around to that game because even as someone who's not a massive fan of 76, it was cool to see it have a bit of a resurgence here, a bit of a bounce back. That type of stuff is awesome. But at the same time, I think we all bought into the idea that this was part of a Bethesda plan. Like, oh yeah, Starfield, it makes sense. And then post-launch Starfield support. Like you don't really have to zero in on a next-gen update. It's going to take time and work, but it's certainly not going to be of the level of work that big AAA launches are going to take, right? So, yeah, of course, like, it's work's probably done. They're just waiting until the Fallout TV show comes around, and it comes out, and it's like this. This is, uh, again, it's it's unbelievable just how bad it is. This lack of preparation I'm talking about isn't just about the bugs. And this is Mr. Matty Plays. For him to be saying how unbelievable, how bad this is, really actually means something, because he's very freaking positive about things. It, it, if he says it's that bad, it's legit worse than he says. <laughs> oh, it's in glitches. I still have one pretty funny one to show you all, but it's also things like Fallout 4 being bugged on PlayStation Plus, bugs over on Series X and S, making it a very muddied launch over there. Again, this lack of preparation is inexcusable as far as I'm concerned because you had so much time. There is no excuse. If you literally no. stamped the date on the calendar, you had like, what, October 23rd or something like that of 2022? You had some time in the end of 2022 up until now to get this right. And your job was very simple. It was a next-gen update, which I'm not going to trivialize the work of a game developer as a game dev myself. I get it. Like, it is tough. And there's a lot that goes on. There's one thing that breaks and it breaks another and breaks another. It's a nasty chain reaction. I get it. But you cannot be this ill-prepared when you have that much time for what to many consumers feels like the bare minimum. A new SKU, free update, couple of pieces of Creation Club content that were already available, packaged in the game. Boom, here you go. And that's the end of it. It didn't seem like this heavy lift on a technical level, this heavy lift on a work scale, this heavy lift on a release. It just seemed like it was bungled all the way from the beginning of it. Uh, again, another funny bug here is this infinite falling one that user Snoopy the dog posted. <laughs> just like, 
dude, how how is this type of stuff happening? What about this one here? An invisible weightlifter. So NPCs aren't even appearing on the map. Wow. Naturally, this has drawn the attention of the press. You have outlets like Eurogamer covering it, talking about how it's an absolutely disappointing launch for the Fallout 4 next-gen update. The annoying part is, if I were to speak from more of a fan perspective here, is that Bethesda is just their own worst enemy. You they know, are. Starfield is one of those moments where I feel like time will eventually be kind to the game, but I get it launched by people who are really disappointed with some of the design choices that were packaged into that game. But then they get this redemption moment, if you will, with the Fallout TV show and their work as a team to help Kilter Films and Amazon deliver something really great there, something that reminds people how fantastic Fallout <clears throat> is. And then they you failed. get to the game experience, and the game experience should be the premium, the creme de la creme. And I'm not saying Fallout 4 is a bad game. You all know how I feel about Fallout 4. I love Fallout 4, but I, it shouldn't be launching like this. You should be in a moment of, hey, as we've seen statistically time in, time out with, let's take CG Project Red as an example, The Witcher, Cyberpunk, like our games have the chance to blow up. And we have this new thing ready to launch around the show. We are gonna get a surge of new players. How do you make it that your most likely next to 76 introduction to a brand new fan it's not ready and not good to go. And it's bugged like this to the point where mods are being made for people who are in Nexus, who are in that community to get around this. So you don't have to deal with any of the crap you guys have done. That's Sad. embarrassing. And so I'm hoping it is embarrassing. that they get on this quick, fix it quick. I haven't seen any sort of public. And when have they ever got on something quick and fixed something quick? When, when does that ever happen with Bethesda? Ever. Mr. Maddy, you're talking about a studio that is drastically deteriorated in their ability to do anything, and their abilities to do anything weren't great beforehand. And you're expecting this to jump on this and fix this. When the next-gen update they worked on for two years has come out like a buggy piece of shit. They obviously do not know what they're doing. They just, they plain old don't know what they're doing. They are they are swimming in the dark. They can't they can't see anything. They can't touch anything. They have nothing solid to stand on. They just they're they're a company that is floundering so badly. It's like they have no skills at all in anything. Other than apparently some PR, maybe. That's it. And why any self-respecting company would continue to put out stuff when they're in that state and they know how bad it's going to be when they put it out. There's only one thing. One thing. One thing. And if you can see, it's this thing right here. The dollars. All they care about is the money. You think I'm wrong? Look at what they're doing. Okay, it's about a minute left in this video, but we're not gonna we're gonna do this. By the way, I, once again, this is linked down below. This has been my coverage of Mr. Maddie Plays uh, video here, talking about the Fallout 4 next gen update. Drop down in the comments. And let me know what you think. First of all. Are you on PC playing the next-gen update? Are you on PC and have already rolled back the next-gen update? Are you on consoles and playing the next-gen update? How are you finding the next-gen update? How or why are you avoiding it? Or do you not play this at all and just want to jump, in, jump into the conversation? Any of those is fine. Keep your comments respectful of others. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, follow. Build, build, build transistors that will beam the followers to the moon base on the dark side of the moon where the Hitler and the Brontosaurus. No? Okay. <laughs> Everybody, from Miss Valley Entertainment News, my name is Dredd. Hope you found this uh, entertainment news both entertaining and news. Ta-ta.